Alright everybody, time to get into finish sanding. I'm going to start out with 220 grit. Obviously I got my interface pad in here. And I'm just going to do a quick sand with this to knock off the orange peel and stipple. And then I'll jump to 320 grit and do a good hard even sand. Um, I've stated this in the past in a previous video. I really like gray primers. It acts as its own guide coat once you start sanding. I've never been one to take a dollar can of enamel and spray it all over the hall. You know, I just, I can't do that. So I'm gonna show y'all real quick how I'm gonna sand this, what to look for and how I finish it off. And hopefully that helps some of y'all and enables y'all to potentially turn out a finished paint job like this when it's done. So. I'm gonna show you all real quick and I'm a time lapse. See you soon. Here we go. 220 grit. <laughs> it's pretty simple. All right, now just to show you, I'm hoping y'all can see this. All these little gray spots is what we need to make disappear. So this is why I say this acts as a guide coat. Once you make all this disappear, you're ready to clean it and lay out the top coat. So I just wanted to show you all that. Now I'm gonna put on a piece of 320 real quick and show you what we want as the finish. Hold on. The interface pad really makes this go smoothly. And that, ladies and gents, is ready for paint. All right, see if y'all can see this. Finished, still needs to be sanded. Once you achieve this, you are done and ready for top coat. So I hope y'all can see that. If not, I don't know how else to explain it, but I'm going to get into sanding, and uh, yeah, I'll see you all on the next step. everybody I got all my quick sanding done with the 220 grit I did all my hand sanding with 320 grit and for the most part I believe I got everything glazed that needs to be glazed so now I'm about to jump into 320 mode get that all called up to speed and start pulling all the tape and plastic so I can clean it retape and shoot so with that being said here we go I'm gonna get the sanding and I'll see you all on the next step
right, everybody. All the sanding is finished. I'm happy with it. It looks good, and uh, it's going to be good. So now the next step is Scotch Bright water hose, just as always. And uh, I'm going to show y'all real quick, just for those that don't know, how I do this little process real quick. So. As I stated before, when doing this, always go left to right, not up and down, around in circles, etc. And uh, yeah, so here. That's all I'll do. Left to right. And that's it. To me, I just like doing this rather than blow wiping the whole hull down. That kicks up a bunch of dust and whatnot. So rinsing it, scrubbing it, rinsing it just removes all the dirt and debris. It allows you to see what the finish is going to look like while the hull is wet. So with that being said, this is just a step I like to take. And I'm going to go ahead and get to scrubbing, and I'll catch you all on the next step. All right. that's what we're looking for with the pre-scrub and like I said this allows you to see what the boat's gonna look like when it's got fresh top coat on it and just from what I'm saying it looks pretty good so I'm happy with that I'm gonna let this dry I'll see y'all when it's time to mask off all right all right fellas everything's done all the tape and masking I'm happy with it I know I said I was gonna cover that step but I was just moving and went ahead and got it done so now I'm a solvent wipe using the good old denatured alcohol, tack rag, lay out three or four coats of Corinthia blue. I'm gonna time lapse most of this, but I will jump in at the beginning of the first, second, and third coat of spraying, just to kind of show you all how I lay it down. And yeah, we'll get it done. She's gonna be beautiful, and I'll follow up with you all when it's finished. See you all then. I got the solvent cleaning done, the paint mixed up, it's induction, and I've hosed down the floor. The next step is tack rag, and I'm gonna show you real quick how you do this, for those of you that don't know. When you open your tack rag, you wanna open it completely and let it fall into your hand into a little ball. You do this extremely lightly, and don't push down hard, and don't come to any sudden stops. If you do that, this waxy, sticky substance will stick to the hull and you just got to backtrack and solvent wipe that area otherwise you end up with a bunch of fish eyes in your paint so lightly just let it glide on there and be extremely gentle if you do it right you'll have a nice paint job when you're done so i'm gonna go ahead and do this i just wanted to show you all that real quick and i'll see you all on the first coat everybody time for the first coat I do this light and quick it's just a tack coat and uh, you do not want to go for coverage on the first coat so I'm gonna show you real quick time lapse it and I'll jump back in on the second coat so here we go
And that's how you do the first coat, or at least that's how I do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay it on there and I'll get with y'all on the next one. All right. Essentially, now I'm going to start aiming for color coverage. I won't achieve it on this coat, but that's what we go for on the second coat. So here we go. And that's what we're looking for. So now I'm going to really lay it on there for the second coat, and I'll see you all next. Guys, I'm so happy with how that second coat just went. I'm only going to do three coats and be done. So the only thing I'm going to do different on this coat is I'm going to boost my air up a little bit. I like the way the paint flowed on the second coat, so I'm basically going to mimic that. And yeah, so I'm going to time lapse the entire third coat, and I'll do a walk around with y'all afterwards. So I'll see y'all soon. Start up here at the bow, and here we go.
Okay, I'm satisfied with that. The owner's gonna be as well. So my next step is painting everywhere that needs to be white, and then I'll lay out the red boot stripes. So I hope y'all enjoyed this, and I'll see y'all on the next step.